Hello everybody and welcome back to Calico and Mr. Pudgeons is here with us. Not that I have favourites or anything but you know. Okay so let's have a look what we are supposed to be doing today on my quests. No active quests at all. I have done all the quests. I also have loads of money. So I think probably the best thing for us to do right now is to head into town. Now, someone has told me in the comments that, that somewhere around here, somewhere around somewhere anyway, there's a secret cave. So I'm going to need to have a look into that. So I'm just going to run into town and have a chat to everybody, and then I'll maybe run up the mountain as well and have a chat to them there. I also kind of want to see if I can have... Oh, do you know what? Why am I, why am I running? Why am I running? I want to have a mount. That's silly of me. Come on then, off we go. Um, I was like, I don't remember the running being so silly. It's because I never run anymore. I just go on my mount and then the running doesn't matter that it looks a bit janky. Because <laughs> uh, you're not meant to run, you're meant to ride. Okay, so let's have a chat first to Maribel, that's your name, isn't it? Yes. Howdy there. What, uh, what's for sale? Need, need anything? Not at the moment, so nothing for Maribel. Okay. Let's have a look in Maribel's shop, because I'm still looking for a nice skirt or some nice trousers. Tights. Hmm. Cat ears. Tight capri leggings. Knee high socks. We already got some knee high socks. Maybe some leggings might be nice. I'm gonna buy some leggings. Cat ears. I mean, I like, I really like my thing I've got on now though. Oh, but cat ears. Yeah, let's get them anyway. I really need a sailor's hat. A hoodie might be quite nice. Just for, you know, those casual days. Okay, let's um, just head outside here. We'll do a little bit of, a little bit of uh, character sorting um so you guys were saying that it's accessory three is the stars and that's why it wasn't changing because i was just being silly oh you're quite right yeah so i can maybe still change to my yellow stars aha yes we can oh they're nice bright yellow yes i like it i like it a lot I like it, I like it, I like it. Okay, so let's go to clothes and um, try on some of the new clothes. Have we got any more hairstyles that we can use? No, still no more. That'll look a down do. I like that. I wanted to see, uh, it looks to me like possibly my, uh, my potion wore off as well overnight. My potion of starry hair or whatever it was called. <laughs> Outerwear. So now I have like a a cropped hoodie thing. That looks really smart actually. Or a slightly longer hoodie. And I now actually have trousers as well. But I think for that the uh, shoes need to be back to normal shoes. Oh, that looks a lot nicer. Yeah. That's a shame that none of the character clothes have patterns. Like There's all these lovely hair designs and, um, and clothing designs for the main characters. I mean, look at that. That's so pretty. And then I'm here in like this. But maybe some stuff will show up eventually that will look a bit nicer for me. Long gloves. Not today though. Okay, well, let's go and have a chat to Estelle. Darling, so good to see you. Uh, need anything? So you to offer your cafe is the talk of the town, you know, and of course I've been appreciating your patronage at the general store. Apologies though, I'm a tad distracted right now. Everything's okay, you look really stressed out. Oh dear, you're new around town, so I hate to burden you with our gossip. But since you asked, maybe you can help me out. You've met Ash, my assistant at the general store. Uh, 
Um, yeah, we're friends. How nice. Now, don't get me wrong. I absolutely love Ash. They're so talented and passionate. Sorry, passionate and talented with their magic studies. I'm just a little worried because their work at the shop seems to have gotten worse recently. Is that a green bone bunny rabbit that just went past? That's extremely distracting. Um, not that we usually get bit that busy here, mind you, but the change concerns me. I wonder if that's Ash's magic. <laughs> I hate to ask. Do you think you could try talking to them for me? I can try. Ash doesn't talk to me about their problems, but maybe talking to a friend instead of their boss. It's just what would get them to open up. Okay, I'll do my best. Great, okay. Back to taking inventory. Let's go talk to Ash. Hi, Ash. Oh, oh, let me chat to you, please. Hello. Sup? I wanted to talk to you about something. How's work going? Hey, super boring, but I learned a new magic trick. Wanna see? Wow, that's really cool. Um, so, do you not like your job here? Oh, I get it. Estelle asked you to talk to me, huh? You're pretty sharp. I hate that I worry her so much. Ugh. But wait, you actually might be able to help. Wait, really? What can I do? Look, Estelle is super cool and she's a great magic teacher and she was so cool to give me a job here. But the actual work part is totally boring and I just can't motivate myself. Back when your aunt ran the cat cafe, I'd get a coffee every morning and that would totally pick me up. Ever since the cafe closed, I'll admit, I've been slipping. Any chance you could make some fresh coffee? That would get me back on my game for sure. Well, I already made coffee, I think. I made all of the stuff in the cafe that I could. What's up? Need anything? Oh my god. Okay, I need your help. I kind of made a big mistake. Is this something to do with the green bunny rabbit I just saw? What happened? Well, I was getting uh, impatient with Estelle's magic lessons and I took one of her wands without asking. Don't tell her. That doesn't sound good. All I wanted to do was change a white bunny into a pretty rainbow bunny. We now have a yellow bunny, a green bunny. Did all the bunnies change into different colours? It's a really simple spell, I thought. Somehow instead, I turned one white bunny into seven bunnies that are each one of the seven colours of the rainbow. Ah, yes, okay. That, that is indeed what I saw. And they got loose, and they're all over town. <laughs> if Estelle finds out, I'm going to be in serious trouble. Please, can you help me out? How can I help? I'm going to clean up all the rainbow fur here. Can you go around the seven bunnies? Okay. Um, yes, yes, yes. So there's the yellow bunny... Bunny. Okay. Do we need to put them in the pen? Maybe. I'm guessing we need to like throw them in the pen. Oh, this is actually super fun. I like I like this job. It's like actually kind of super satisfying. It kind of reminds me of the cooking game. Come here, green bunny. So we've got blue and yellow and green. Come here. bunny squeak, that high-pitched squeal they do. Kind of realistic. Okay, see the purple one? Off by uh, Kiva's house. Hello? Come here. 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 Go. I thought for a second I was holding it by the ears. I was like, that is really cruel, but no, I'm just kind of kind of holding it by its shoulders. I mean, I still don't entirely agree with holding animals like this, <laughs> but uh, I guess it's a new game. Got to support their little bottoms. Yes. Okay, so. White is a. That was bunny number four. Hmm. Yes. Head up the hill, see if any of them have been sort of made their way up there. Maybe I can hear. I hear a bunny rabbit. I can hear their squeaky squeals, but. I don't know how far they might have gone. Seeing any oh yep, there's one. I was about to say not seeing any, but there is the, the pink bunny. What are you, bunny number five? Something like that. Whee! It's bunny number 
five. And um, two more to go. Let's just have a little run around here. We'll go back up to Kiva's place. I think I see a pink bunny over there. Right, let's have a chat to Kiva while we're here. Hi. Hey, friendo, how are you doing today? Need anything? Not at the moment. Okay, that's fine. Uh, where did the bunny go? It was here a minute ago. Hello. So today's all about helping Ash, really. I hope that the... I hope the coffee helps them. <laughs> Because I don't want to be rounding up bunnies every day like this. Seriously. Your bunny five, bunny, bunny six. Right, so one more to go. Probably be around this area somewhere, but uh, just a case of where. Not up on the roof with Char. Nope. Let's see if Oliver's got any more recipes today. I've got loads of money, so... Problem with this whole finding stuff is that they probably move around. Any eye-catchingly bright-looking bunny rabbits here? can go up there. That might be a place to explore. I want to do a little bit more map exploring today. If I get time anyway. We should have a chat to uh, to Blossom. Good afternoon, Starshine. Need anything? Not that I can think of. Life's quite peachy at the moment. What's up, friendo? Need anything? Okay, so guess what? My anniversary with Blossom is coming up. So Blossom didn't ask for anything for the anniversary. Maybe she's got it covered. Um, we've been dating for four years. Can you believe it? It's been so wonderful. Uh, alright, so I told you about how we first met in the cat cafe, and now that it's reopened, I want to take her on a special anniversary date there. It's the perfect spot, and I was thinking who would make it even more perfect, sorry, what would make it even more perfect, would be if you could help me decorate a little. Do you think you could add a piece of flower furniture to the cafe before then? She know, you know how much Blossom loves flowers. Sure. Oh, thank you. Gosh, I can't wait. The cafe. Sorry, the cats, the sweets, the flower decor. This is going to be the perfect night. Oh, how sweet. We should do that straight away. I might already have... I mean, I've already got flowers in there, but whether they've got flower furniture. Let's have a little look at what furnitures are in here and if I can add anything extra just to make their night very special. Okay. Croissant recipe. I think we will now buy that. Cute. Spooky. 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 Basic. Rad. Spooky. Basic. Rad. Oh dear, no flower. Um, maybe I'll just have a quick look at the quests. Hmm. So we've done six out of seven bunnies. Prism break. I like that. That's a funny title. I'm glad I looked at it. Oliver, do you have any furniture on you today? Yep. Any flower furniture? What's for sale? Cute. Toe bean, cloud, citrus, egg. A wind up pangolin, oh my goodness me. And a rad cat throne. And nothing flower furniture, so I'm hoping maybe the, the flower stuff I've got would will, will count. However, let's go and see Lily. No, you, I, I, I'm, I'm supposed to mount you, not you mount me. Uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> I always do that. I'd press the wrong button and I'd pick the Arctic Fox up. Right, so. Uh, let's go and see Lily. And I've forgotten her pop's name. Which is really, really bad of me. What's her name? Poppy, of course. Lily and Poppy. What's the story, Morning Glory? Well, what's the sale? Flower carpet. There we are.
Well, it looks like it's either a flower chair or a flower carpet, but I didn't have any real carpets there, so I think a flower carpet would be lovely. Right, now let's ask if, uh, if there's anything you need, Poppy. How nice of you to ask. Have you explored town much yet? I was window shopping earlier today myself at the general store. Even though, as my daughter Lily will tell you, we already have way too much junk around our house. Lily says I'm a hoarder. I like to think I just see the good in a lot of different things, and it makes it hard to get rid of stuff. Estelle was telling me about a new style of rad furniture. I, being a dad, am quite rad myself, so it called right out to me. I wanted to get something rad for my own place, but like I said, I really shouldn't be buying new things right now. Oh, seems as you just moved in, you must be on the lookout for some furniture, huh? You should keep an eye out for this rad style, it, to it really deserves to see the light of day. Okay, sure. That's great, I can't wait to see your place's rad new look. I'm guessing I now have a quest to get rad stuff. Rad dad. Just a piece of rad furniture in the cafe. I'm not going to have any room. <laughs> Mind you, I need to remember that I can decorate upstairs as well. It just has to be in the cafe. So, let's go and find some rad furniture. I did see some rad furniture. Maybe a rad counter? I've already got two counters, though. Hmm. I could get that rad couch. Cute, spooky, rad side table. I could get a rad desk or a rad side table for my place. In fact, why don't we get both? Okay, so we've just got one more rabbit to find, I think. Excuse me. Um, come on out, you come. Good boy. Right, okay, so. Up we go. see if we can find any bunny rabbits. I'm just gonna sort of just go around the path, see if anything like jumps out at me. The last bunny rabbit has been a little bit difficult to find. Okay, so I've done a whole rotation of the path and not found it. I don't think it's in the middle either. I'm just going to head up here. Around the back. I definitely only have six of the bunnies. I'm going to just head around here and up and see if I can... It might even have made it as far as Amber's place, you never know. Or just Maya's place even. I wonder how her little owlets are. Let's go and ask. How are your owlets today? Hello there. Need anything? It'll be nice when we get the beach open again. Have you heard about the poison flowers there? Uh, that doesn't sound good. Gonna be honest. So can we get up here is my question. Aha. Uh -huh. So, any rabbits around here? Maybe I can, like, from up here I can see a bit better as well. And see any kind of bunnies hopping about. No, not seeing them there. I might just head up like towards Autumn's place then and see if maybe it's headed over there somewhere. I'm sure I will find it eventually, but if I have a proper look, I might find it quicker. Oh, bunny rabbit, where are you? This is where I find, I go back to the cafe and it's gone back to the cafe or something. Aha, I found you. Right. It was at Lily's place all along, Lily and Poppy's place. But it was just hiding around the back. Okay, hello. Come here. Thank you. Can I hold it while I'm... Yes, I can. <laughs> I like the fact that you can hold things and put things on your head and stuff while you're mounted on, a, on an animal. That's kind of cool.
Someone said I could maybe try and use a potion to shrink that cat in the in the tube. We'll have to try. I reckon that might be unblocking the path down to the lighthouse. Because if you look, the lighthouse uh, on the map would help. Uh, the lighthouse is its own little like, section. And, um, oh, actually, no, it's, it's down to that lower left part. So whatever that is, the woods or something, I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, that's definitely going to be how we get there. I think there's like a broken bridge or something that might take us to the lighthouse area. I don't know how to get to the mushroom area. But we will get there, I'm sure. But uh, in the meantime, let's get this bunny back to where it belongs. And then we'll decorate, go back and decorate the cat cafe. And then I'll go searching for caves. Oh my goodness, so if I mounted, I can put any animal on my head. How does that work? So, oh yeah, if you press B, B is store animal, which means you put it on your head. So you can have one on your head and one in your hands, I imagine, which is pretty useful. <laughs> so that's how I got the capybara on my head. Ah. Oh, and if you have put them on your head, then they will always have your little, your, the same hat as you. What, what, what a detail. What an incredibly cool detail that is. I like that so much. That's, that's real incredible detail, uh, attention to detail even. In a, in just a really cool way. Right, so Ash, I have done it. Uh, I didn't really know why I needed to mount my mount to, to like go that far, but that's like going in your car to like the, shop down the road sup i did the thing okay you found them all amazing now i just have to get these bunnies turned back to normal before estelle finds out i'm going to go study up on reversing spells thanks for all your help here take this as a thank you gift or some kind of cat thing and please don't say anything to estelle i promise i won't mess around with any of her stuff again when she's not around i got some money as well so let's have a quick look uh no there my inventory inventory So, invert the colours of the world. <laughs> wow. That sounds rather trippy. I thought I already used my magic hair potion. Can I just keep using these potions? Once I buy them. Because if that's the case, then I won't be buying a lot more. I thought they were like one-shot things. I totally did not pick up the arctic fox. That's so pretty. Okay, so, um... Done all of that, so I need to go back to my cafe before it gets too late, actually, and do all the decorating I need to do. So I need to put in a piece of rad furniture and a piece of flower furniture. Oops. Oops. And I need to make coffee and then talk. Oh, talk to Estelle. Right, so let's talk to Estelle because I've already made coffee. So hopefully that will help with that and then just quickly go back and decorate. Okay. Darling, so good to see you. I did the thing. I don't know what you did, but Ash is like a new person. They say it's thanks to you uh, and that I should give you discounts at the store. I don't know if we can quite afford that right now, but I can give you something else. You'll definitely do well with tarts in the cafe. Tart recipe then? Hmm, cool. Like a good fruit tart. So yeah, if I head back and uh... We can... I always go the wrong way, I swear. Yeah, oh, this way, okay. So if I head back...
I've been keeping an eye out for caves, but I think like caves are most likely to be up, up in the mountain. Someone basically just gave me a little clue. They were like, you might want to look for caves. And I was like, oh, okay. Oh, you look sleepy. You, you've worked hard today, Mr. Arctic Fox. Right, so... I'm kind of thinking I might want to move some of those coffee tables somewhere a little bit different. Uh, let's try and put down the flower carpet first. Oh, I have a flower table as well. The flower carpet looks really cute. Right in the middle of the floor there. Grab the tables. Well, it says that uh, Y is pickup, sorry, X is pickup, but but it's not, it's A. So that's why I'm struggling here. I may need to move the flower out of the way so I can move the table, but I want to rotate it. Maybe just pop it against the, the window there. One, like one big long cloud table I like that quite a lot actually and then move that more to the center I probably will end up having some some tables in the middle but I quite like my ones by the window although the cats all seem to be stuck on them <laughs> the cat never no it's not a cat it's a, a little mini uh, Akita sort of style dog and a raccoon. Red, no, red tail fox. Not a raccoon. What am I saying? Right, so. Uh, I think I might want to go in the kitchen or upstairs or something like that if I can. I may need to run upstairs and then try and put things in. And I'm hoping that putting like a desk or whatever up here will work. Ooh. Furniture mode, inventory, rad. How many things do I already have? Oh my goodness, I have a rad bed. I already have a bed though, so can I can I remove my bed and put a rad bed in instead of the cute bed? Or do I have like a guest bed now? <laughs> Let's just see what we can do. Rug will be in the way, of course. Oh, right. So pick up means actually put it away in your inventory. Right. I don't know why that wasn't happening downstairs, though. So I'm going to put the rad bed in place. So A to move and X to put back in your inventory. I'm working it out eventually, slowly but surely. And I do, did like the rug under the bed. Oh, that's not quite right. That's as right as it's gonna be, I think. Just trying to line it up with the bed there. I also have a desk that I can put down. I've got like cat trees and all sorts of stuff though. I kind of think I want those downstairs actually. The screen is cute. I can kind of put it there and like screen off the room a bit. Which is quite nice. Um, what else have we got? I seem to have more than one rad bed, apparently. 
Oh yeah, the rad desk. I actually really, really think it would be cool to have that just here. That's nice, some just extra furniture for my house. Do I have any like chairs I could put by my desk? Because I think that'd be kind of useful. Basic. Oh, look at that cute dresser. I like that. Spooky carpet, spooky cat bed. Flower table, egg table, citrus stools, toy bean sofa. Oh yeah, I'm gonna put that up here. Totes. Under the window there. That's so pretty! Well, I might want to move the screen very slightly so that it kind of sections off the sofa area from the bed area. Yeah, I'm feeling that. Okay, cool. Um, maybe we could put the cat tree up here? The cats do come up here. Although the birds seem to be taking over right now. The rad cat tree next to the sofa. Yeah, although the colours are a little bit different to each other, it's, it's still pretty cool. Still kind of like it. Okay. So that's everything that I needed to do for my quests done. So wait for morning to talk to Sunny, and we can talk to Poppy now if we want to. Uh, but I think it's probably time for bed. Let's go and see if there's anything more I can make. Oh, also, someone gave me a bit of advice about the cabinets, so I want to just try that out. Um, so, display case. Still not quite working it out. Kind of moves it around. So uh, I'm guessing we can only have three things in each display case. Maybe I need more display cases. So say I want the coffee or something in a display case. I can put it there. Oh, I see. Right. A macaron that we could put in or a cornet. No, we've got the cornet, so let's put the macaron in. So yeah, I get I'm getting the hang of it there. Let's go and have a look out at the display the display cases. Um and they all they mirror each other, so you don't suddenly get to use to have more display cases and have more room for different products. You seem to be stuck at six, as far as I can tell. Do correct me if I'm wrong on that one. If there's any so much stuff I can have in a display case, then maybe it's not worth making certain things. I don't know. I'm going to leave it for now, and we're going to go to sleep. And then in the morning, I'm going to do some more questing. We'll go and talk to Poppy and everyone, and I'm going to go up the mountain and see if the guys up there have anything that I need to do. I love that. I used that for my thumbnail um, last episode. It was such a cute picture. The little... The little capybara in the bath. It's so cute. Alright, so what are we going to do today? Hello, fo Arctic Fox. How are you doing? Autumn's like, why do you never write me anymore? Uh, Aussie, not Autumn. Autumn is the cat. Sorry. So yeah, going to go and just hand those quests in. See if anybody else has any quests for me. And then I'm going to head up the mountain, see if those guys have any quests for me. And on the way, I'm just going to make sure I have a little look-see around. Whee! I think I can just talk to people while on my mount. It's probably going to be quicker. Maya, hello there. Need anything? It'd be nice when we get the beach open. Okay, so that is a no then. interesting to see if Kiva has any quests. I like questing. Questing is my is my fun thing to do. So 
Oliver never has anything to say to me. Uh, so let's just back out of that conversation. Maribel, howdy there. Uh, what's for sale? Oh man, look at Fox ears today. And jeans. Jeans. Yes, I'm not going to look like such an idiot now. Hey. Okay, do you need anything is the next thing. Whoa. Whoa. How do you there? Need anything? Not at the moment. Okay. Estelle, do you need anything? Darling, so good to see you. Need anything? No. Ash, do you need anything? Sup? Need anything? Nope. Okay. It's very easy when no one needs anything. Yeah, yeah, cool. Maybe Kiva will. So I'm gonna just go and uh, see. I'll talk to Kiva. I'll just see if she needs anything. And I'll go talk to Poppy. Hey, Brando, how are you doing today? Need anything? Not at the moment. So we'll talk to Poppy and uh, I'll talk to Lily as well, ask her if she needs anything, because I haven't asked her that at all. What's the story, Morning Glory? I did the thing. The cafe's looking good. I saw that rad furniture in there. I'm really touched that someone as stylish as you thought my style advice was worth following. I've been trying to clean up the junk, some of the junk around my place. I found a few things I thought you might like if you want them. Well, enough furniture to, like dress the place up four times over now. Hey there, flower friends. Uh, need anything? Actually, yes, I do need something if you don't mind. I was supposed to go meet uh, Zin, I think that might say. The other day, uh, today, do you know Zin? The mushroom magical girl. She's been telling me all about different kinds of edible mushrooms that grow in the deep woods. There are over a hundred species, isn't that amazing? I thought it'd be fun to try growing some in my veggie garden, and Zin offered to... Uh, gather up the spores from the woods for me. I apologise if I'm saying that wrong. But now the store got super busy and my day has totally spiralled out of control. Do you think you could go grab the spores from Sin and tell her I'm sorry I couldn't make it myself? Sure thing. So we've got to try and find our way to the mushroom part of the kingdom. Mushroom kingdom. But before we do that, we're going to go and see how the date went. In fact, I am going to dismount for this one. Hello, how did your date go? What's up, friendo? I did the thing. Oh my gosh, I know. Our date went so well. Thank you so much for getting that furniture. Blossom and I sat together surrounded by flowers and played with the cats and ate so many sweets. So, so many. I mean, you know that because you were there. You sold us the sweets. But it's strange. It almost feels like it was just the two of us in our own little world that night. Gosh, Blossom is so cute, isn't she? Oh, I almost forgot. I wanted to thank you for making my night so perfect. Please take this. So much furniture. Blossom, do you need anything? Good morning, Starshine. Doesn't need anything. Do you need anything else? What's up, friendo? Need anything? Look at you always on the go. I swear you never stop. I always see you running all over town all day long. Where do you get all your energy? Say, can I ask you a favour? I've been worried about my raccoon friend, Trixie. She usually comes by each night and I give her a little bit of sandwich as a treat. It's her favourite. But she hasn't visited the last few nights. My guess is that since the way to Cutie City is open, she's exploring... Oh, it's open now. She's exploring there. Lots of food for a raccoon to scavenge it... Sorry, in a city. But I'm worried she'll get lost there. How can I help? Will you just keep an eye out for Trixie and bring her to me if you find her? I just want to check on her, make sure she's alright. Thanks a million. Ah, oh, so maybe we should, we need to go to Mushroom City and Cutie City and all sorts of things today. What? I just going to check if Poppy needs anything because I didn't talk to him again after I handed in the quest. Right, let's uh... Need anything? Oh, I need to know whether you're settling into town, okay? Have you been getting to know everyone? Oh, speaking of which, have you met my daughter Le Okay, my brain went faster than my mouth then. Speaking of which, have you met my daughter Lily yet? Yeah, I have. She's such a good kid, you wouldn't believe it. She works so hard helping me out around the flower farm. And she's a verifiable genius at it. She's always bringing home some new potion that will help the flowers grow. I would never have thought to use magic on my flowers. Don't get me wrong, we've had a few mishaps. Flowers turning into horribly unfashionable colours or growing teeth, that kind of thing. Oh, tea's cold. Ugh, won't even try. But we've also discovered amazing techniques for growing our flowers fast, keeping them happy, all thanks to Lily. Oh, sorry, did I get start going on too much about my daughter? I guess she's just been on my mind lately because she's been so helpful. I wish I could do something for her in return. Let me guess, I'm going to have to do it, am I? 
Uh, just this morning I asked her if there's anything she wants, but she wouldn't say. Hmm, well what does she like? You know, I just thought of something. Back when your aunt ran the cafe, Lily would always ask you to pick up one of her tasty croissants whenever I stopped by. Croissants are Lily's favourite food. But we haven't had them in ages. Do you think you could put croissants back on the menu? You know, if it wouldn't be too much trouble. Sure. Oh, thank you. And wait, one more thing. Don't mention it to Lily, that way you can surprise her. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So much to do. Okay, so I think I have spoken to everybody now. So we've got a, a cat cafe croissants, mushroom spores and tricksy business. So we need to go to other areas to get these things. But I did say that I would go up, up to the mountain and see if the people up the mountain needed anything and also check for caves on the way. So we might want to do that. And um, maybe we could head from the mountain into Cutie City because I think that's possibly the way you get there. I mean, it might even be that you get from the mountains in... No, it's not, it's not, is it? The mushroom thing is behind my cat cafe. Also, is there, I think there was a return home button somewhere. Am I wrong about that? Let's pause menu, inventory, furniture, toys. I could have sworn I saw a return home one. But I don't actually mind riding around the place, it's so pretty. See, if I were a cave, I'd be behind that waterfall. <laughs> I hope this is the one they mean. See, I was so close because I checked the waterfall up top. There's a shop here. What? With extra stuff. A cat potion. Turn yourself into a cat. Yes, please. Cream puff recipe. Yes, please. Like, generally, I'm going for recipes and potions above anything else. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm so glad that it was a waterfall as well. What? Also, what is that thing? Is that something I can interact with there? Doesn't seem to be. Just seems to be the shop. Okay, but still cool. I hope that's the cave you meant. Always check behind waterfalls in all your games, okay? But yeah, I am going to quickly pop up the mountain and check on people, see what they see what they have to give me in the way of quests, and then I'm going to head over to Mushroom City. I don't have much time left. I don't like to go over an hour in my recordings. Even though sometimes they like to make me go over an hour. You see, I could cut out all of the like walking around, but I, I, I actually feel in this one that it's too pretty. And I'm totally going to ride this polar bear. Apparently the babies will come too. This won't go wrong. I'm riding a polar bear. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The polar bear. Oh, the polar bear is really slow compared to the arctic fox. Or at least it feels that way. I'm guessing some mounts are quicker than others. Maybe I need to keep to take the deer back then, the snow deer thing back, because that might be really fast. The fox seems fairly fast though. So I'm going all the way up here and I haven't actually gone to see um, the owl, 
owl girl. Oh, what's her name? Freya. We haven't gone to see Freya, so I need to go and check on her as well as Lumi. So, meh. Should have done that first. Too busy thinking about polar bears. Thank you, Mama Bear. You were really cool. I love the fact that you can just write anything you want in this, pretty much. It's so good. Hello. Hi, I hope you're doing well today. Need anything? Not at the moment. Oh, him all the way up here for a not at the moment. So, if I just land, like, right down there, if I land in the right place, I can almost just go and see Freya straight away. I'm flying! Hi. Rusty, that is your name. Now I know who you are. I have to pick them up and then I know who they are. Am I allowed to pick you up? Polar bear baby. <laughs> Mama didn't eat me, so that's good. Always a worry that... Oh, Maya and Freya are together. How sweet. Hi. Ooh, ooh, you. Need anything? Not at the moment. Need anything? Nope. Okay. Nobody up here needs anything, so let us go to the Mushroom Kingdom. But I think we might have to do that next time. I'm thinking we might. Mm, what do we do now? I just don't know. Maybe we'll do it now. Well, I'll take an extra ten minutes on the episode and we'll, we'll go to Mushroom Kingdom. Might not be able to make it to... No, you know what we'll do? We'll go look for the raccoon. So if we go look for the raccoon in Cutie City, then we might not get time for Mushroom Town, but that'll have to be next episode. I think it's called Cutie City. Do you go faster than the fox? You look like you might go really fast. I just don't know. So they're saying, since the way to the city is open, and it's like, I, I don't know if it is or not, because it looked like it was all coned off to me. Hello, construction cat. Meow, 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 meow. I'm sorry, what? Meow, 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 meow. Can I go through? Meow. A crew of construction cats are blocking the road into the city. Ask around the mountain to find out what the problem is. Okay. Can I just turn into a cat and then I would understand him though? I just went up the mountain. I see everybody. Now I'm gonna do it again. <sighs> well, luckily there's only two people in the mountain, so it's not too difficult. So we'll go and see Freya first and see if she knows about the cat construction crew. Hopefully she does and then we don't have to go all the way up to the top to see Lumi. But I have a feeling it probably will send me all the way up to the top. To see Lumi. I just wanted to go through. But there was a cat construction crew there. Alright, guys. What's up with them cats? Okay, what's up with them cats? They won't talk to me. Maybe they told you what was up. I want to talk to Freya, not Maya. Because Freya is uh, mountain people. Woo ooh, you. Construction cats? Oh yeah, those construction cats are somehow more stubborn than that pile of rocks was. I haven't been able to get through to them. But do you know who can solve any problem when they put their minds to it? Assemble the Owl Club! Tell Maya that the owl, oh, that's handy, she's right there. Hello there! Owl Club! Owl Club? Owl Club! Owl Club! Okay, I done that. Tell Ash about- oh no, I'm gonna go all the way down to see Ash. Tell them about- This is getting the city unlocked though, so it's kind of cool. We'll see if we can at least get it unlocked by the end of the episode. We should call this episode Construction Cats! It's always nice when I already know what an episode is going to be called. It'll be a late episode though, this one. It's already quarter past nine. I It's Boxing Day. I needed to chill. I, I worked on Christmas Day. I modded a stream and I recorded a video. 
and I cooked Christmas dinner and I cleaned it all up and we had Christmas presents and, and all the normal Christmas stuff on top of all that. It was a very busy day and I needed to chill today, so I'm just going to be a little bit later with things. Everyone has to be like chilled out on Boxing Day. In fact, you might not know what Boxing Day is. Boxing Day is like the traditional <laughs> British day where service workers are such as um, servants, postal workers, anyone who like does something for you. Like, servants, because like, yes, rich, posh British people have servants, but no one's had servants for like a hundred years, I swear. Everyone's contractors now. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, your gardener, your postie, all that sort of thing would get a present on Boxing Day traditionally. Um, maybe, maybe sometimes even the bin men and stuff like that. That's what Boxing Day is apparently for. So it's basically everyone goes back to work, but they go, they get a present. Basically, that's the tradition. I don't think anyone does that anymore, but it's just sort of seen as a, a bit of an extension to the holiday, really. <laughs> I think it's usually a bank holiday and a day off over here. So, ah, so good to see you. You're not Ash. <laughs> Ash, I, I want to talk to you. What's up? Owl Club! Oh my gosh, it's back on! That's great! Oh wait, I can't attend any Owl Club meetings until my work is done. As soon as the mountain path was cleared, we got a huge supplies order from Lumi. I've had to spend all day putting it together and I haven't even done my deliveries yet. But Owl Club! But Owl Club, say since you're so eager to join, do you think we can help deliver some things while I close up the shop? Then we can go to Owl Club. This is starting to stretch out. Yeah, deliveries. Yeah, deliveries. Yeah, Owl Club. Okay. So we've got to go up to the to Lumi. Oh, thank goodness you're a fast mount, eh? Hey? Up and down that mountain. You're going to be so tired. I'm so sorry. Like I said, I could maybe use my cat potion and turn into a cat. Talk to the construction cats, but I don't think that's going to work. I think I have to do my quests. So up the mountain again. But then I probably won't have too much to do up here, I don't imagine. I don't know how many like side quests everybody has, but... Apparently the game isn't a hugely long game, so I don't imagine they've got tons of side quests. And the cafe's starting to look pretty cool. I would love to see like a bit more to the game, like um, more thing, more space in the cafe, maybe like to be able to expand the cafe out and add extra rooms and things like that, so you could put more furniture in. Because there's so much furniture and so little room to put it anywhere. So that'd be amazing. Not that I don't, I don't know that that's not a possibility though. But uh, if it's not, then it'd be amazing if it was. Okay, so I'm hoping I can just deliver the supplies to Lumi, but then I don't have to go back and talk to Ash. But I probably will have to go back and talk to Ash, but I can at least um, Geronimo it down the mountain, so I don't have to walk up, walk down as well as up. I just have to walk up and then Geronimo down. Okay, so. Lumi, hello. Hello, I hope you're doing well today. Supplies! Wow, running a cat cafe, clearing rocks, and you make deliveries too. Here's a little extra reward for your hard work. Remember to take a day off every now and then. Maybe relax in the hot spring. Right, eggs to Kiva. Okay. Come, come, my little mount friend. Let's... Let's see how close to the beginning we can get. I think if we just go this way... We get quite close. We can at least get to the bridge that way. That that's a whole chunk of it taken off by just jumping down because like I am such a cheat when it comes to <laughs> when it, if it, the first thing I check in a game does it have full damage? No, I'm gonna be jumping down everything then. So I called it horse parkour in uh, Porsche, so it's probably it must be fox parkour in this game. I'm hoping we can get this all done by the end of the day, get that city open, and then we'll 
be able to explore it next episode and do all the side quests and meet all the people there and then maybe also go to the mushroom place. So if we've got the city and the mushroom open, then it's the lighthouse and the foresty bit down the bottom to, to open up as well and that's the whole map then. So that's pretty cool. So Kiva, let's keep going down here. It's already half past six so I don't know if we'll, it'll have to be the beginning of tomorrow's episode. Or the day after, because I might put something different up tomorrow. I've got, got a bit of an idea about something else I want to put up. My hair matches your tights. <laughs> Not quite, but... Hey, friendo, how are you doing today? Egg? I love egg. Oh, you mean my delivery. Yes, thank you for egg. Chair to Lily. Right, at least Lily is close. Because if it if it asks me to send something to like Freya, I'm going to be very annoyed. Right, Lily, I have a chair for you. Chair delivery. Oh, it's perfect for my dad. He works at flower farm all day. Sometimes he needs to learn to take a break. And when he finally takes that break in this nice chair, that's my opportunity to take over. He thinks he can plant more flowers than me in a day. I'll show him. Let's see how many flowers you plant while you're napping comfortably in this chair. Ha 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 ha. Thank you. That's your dastardly plan. Hi. So. Deliveries are done. Good job. You're definitely our club material. Now let's go. The others are waiting for us. Okay. So it is up the mountain to Freya, but at least... At least we don't have to go up there for a delivery and then come back down to see Ash. And we're there. Wonderful. Right. Um, well, Ash is on their way. Ash is on their way. Um... <sighs> Let's just see if it will work. Woo you need anything? Not at the moment. Ah, maybe if I talk to Maya. Woo -oo. no, that's Freya. Maya, Freya. Hello there. Need anything? Okay, we literally got to wait for Ash to come up the the hill. Ash, where are you? They were on their way. Oh, attend the Owl Club meeting at Freya's house. I should read, shouldn't I? I should actually read. It's nearly 10 o'clock. Oh! There they are. Alright, okay. Maybe if I speak to Ash? If not, I'll try and go in the house. Sup? Right, okay. I'm guessing maybe go up to the house then. Nope. Maybe speak to Freya. Now everyone's here. Yeah. Maya, no. Ah, welcome back, members of the Owl Club. Hoot hoot! Hoot hoot! Hoot hoot! Hoot! First order of business is accepting our new member. All in favour? Yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah! The years have it. Welcome to the Owl Club! Hoot hoot! Now on to our second issue. A crew of construction cats have blocked off the road into the city. We can't get them to budge. Newest member, what happened when you talked to them? Meow, meow, meow? That doesn't make sense. Of course it doesn't make sense. Road construction is an ancient art shrouded in mystery. Uh, no. I meant, they just said soft paws hot hat soup. Wait, Ash, you speak cat? Well, yeah, speaking cat is first year witch school stuff. Well then, we have our translator. Let's go have a constructive cat chat. Owl club, field trip, time. Okay. Owl Club! I 
I'm riding. I'm not. I'm not walking. Not with that walk. My walk is embarrassing. So we're gonna go talk to the construction cats, and then I'm gonna end the episode. I think because it's really late at night. And uh, yeah, so I won't be able to look for the raccoon or anything. But that was a big old quest that I just decided to undertake right at the end of the episode. So that's a little unfortunate, but. Hey, you get an extra long Boxing Day episode, uh, even if it goes up super late at night. So you might end up watching this on the 27th, but that's fine. I won't judge. Mind you, if you live in America, it'll be perfect timing. It'll just be that that nice evening slot for the, the guys in New York, and it'll just be like, are you coming? It'll be like the middle of the day for the for the Californians. The Australians, it'll be like midday. So, yeah, might be fine. Okay. Hello, construction cat. I want a picture with you, construction cat. Not with the talk thing on. I need to be like. Oh, no. I need to be looking ahead, but no talky thing on. Uh, there we are. Oh, now Ash is right in the way. Yeah. Meow? Okay. Meow 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 meow. Meow 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 meow. Meow 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 moo. Meow. They said they need bagel energy to finish the construction. Bagels? They're deficient in vitamin bagel. So sleepy. You run the cafe, right? If you make up some bagels, we could clear out these construction cats. And you'd have new customers too. If you need the recipe for bagels, we have it back at the general store. Another problem solved by the Owl Club. Hoot hoot. Okay, so, um, I think we're gonna go back to bed. In the morning, we shall make bagels. In the morning, we shall make bagels. Because it's a thing that we have to do in the cafe, I figure we may as well go, go back to the cafe, go to bed, make the bagels, and visit the big city next episode. So, construction cats, you asked for more than, than, than I could give, unfortunately. So, there we go. Construction cats, you got me. <laughs> so yeah, definitely we'll head back to the, the cafe and uh, go to sleep. And we'll finish off the construction cats next time. There we go. Time for bed. It's nearly one in the morning. This is the latest I've ever been out in this game, I swear. Normally we go to bed at like 10. <laughs> so late night for, uh, for Lady Shelab. Let's head upstairs. I'm liking how the cafe is slowly starting to, to come together. My room has gotten more decorated today. Um, I do have jeans. We'll put them on next time. So there we are. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more Calico, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.